Hari Om to all my viewers. Welcome to the most beautiful world of English language learning. This session is yet another lesson on vocabulary empowerment. We shall learn a few words associated with flowers. We shall move from the familiar to the unfamiliar. Okay? So let's begin with a simpler one, bloom. Bloom means to produce flowers especially one cultivated for its beauty. Next, we have blossom, which also means to produce a flower or many flowers. Inflorescence is the complete flower head of a plant, including stems, stalks, bracts and flowers. A bouquet is yet another familiar word, which means an attractively arranged bunch of flowers especially one presented as a gift or carried at a ceremony. A wreath, as we all know, is an arrangement of flowers, leaves or stems fastened to a ring and used for decoration or for laying on a grave. A garland is flowers and leaves strung together to be worn around the neck or hung as a decoration. A floret or floweret is one of the small flowers making up a composite flower head. Let's now understand the less familiar words that are associated with flowers. Posy is a small bunch of flowers. Nosegay is yet another word which refers to a small bunch of sweet scented flowers which was used as an ornament in the 15th century. Botania is a spray of flowers worn in a buttonhole. Corsage is also a spray of flowers worn or pinned to a woman's clothes. And finally, to sum up this floral vocabulary, let's understand the word lay, which is a Polynesian garland of flowers. Before we wind up, Here's a bonus word, ikebana, which is the art of Japanese flower arrangement with formal display according to strict rules. Thank you very much, my dear viewers. If you would like to add more words to this group of words, please do so in the comment section below. Bye. Happy learning. Keep smiling. Hari Om.